eraser and this is what I'm going to use to prime I already moisturized my face you guys have seen me moisturize my face like 10 million times so I figured I wouldn't add it I'll just moisturize my face on the camera and I'm going to concentrate this more on my t-zone which is everywhere that I do get oily and obviously right here on my cheek areas because I do get a lot of pores around that area. Okay, so now that that's set on my face, I am going to be using my, one of my favorite foundations. This is the CoverGirl Outlast State Fabulous Foundation. And this is an oldie but goodie foundation. I keep forgetting how good this foundation is, guys. It's like amazing. So I'm gonna be using this and most of my beauty blenders, well, I don't have any beauty blenders, but my knockoffs, like my Wonder Blender, um, that one is extremely dirty, so I'm just gonna use a brush. I'm not a fan of applying foundations with a brush, but we're just gonna go ahead and deal with it because that's all I have for right now. So I'm just gonna apply this where I need the most coverage. I kind of stopped using brushes to apply foundation because I just kind of, I don't know, I just kind of feel like every single brush kind of leaves like streaky, streakiness, if that's how you say it. And I just do not like the look of that. So for our concealer, I am going to be using this Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it on all of the areas that I want to highlight, which is under my eyes, bridge of my nose, um, right here on my forehead, on my chin. But I just don't know what I'm going to blend it with because I don't have a Wonder Blender. So I guess I'm just going to take this little... Um, knock off beauty blender type of deal and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray some of this because I did not wet it and I do need it to be a little bit damp and I'm just gonna blend it out with this little guy right here I have used this one before to do this so we're just gonna see if it works love it so much like it's just everything to me it's the perfect kind of highlight banana shade for anybody that's my skin tone I just love it so much and I'm just gonna use this real techniques little blush like blush brush like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and set everywhere that I highlight it already know that my face is already starting to look matte but I still have to set the rest of my face so I'm still gonna go in and set the rest of my face because that's just what I do I love looking matte that's just my thing because I am like an oil ball and we don't want to look like an oil ball today okay so to set my whole face I am going to be using my one and only favorite face powder and this is a super BB precisions formula face powder and I have it in the shade medium medium deep this is like their darkest shade i believe which is crazy so i'm just gonna set the rest of my face with that so now that 
we have our eyebrows done, you guys know that I always go in with mascara just to kind of darken them up and set them. I do not use brow gel. I would rather use black mascara because that's just gonna make them darker and I just love that dark kind of thick brow look. So I just go in, I start in the middle just to kind of diffuse the products throughout my brow, brow, throughout my brow. And I just kind of just set it. Next, we are going to go ahead and do our eyes. Now, I have been doing this look a lot lately. I just have been loving that nice, natural, brown, pinky, coral kind of smoky eye with a lot of glitter on the lid. So that's what we're going to be doing today because I know a lot of you guys have been asking how to achieve that look so we are going to be achieving that look today so i am going to be showcasing this palette since i have been using it in my videos a lot lately this palette i got it from 599fashion.com and it's just kind of like a little boutique online they sent this over to me years ago and i don't know like i just been loving it i just feel like the pigmentation and just the quality of the shadows are that are in here are just amazing i just absolutely love them and adore them i don't remember how much much this palette was but I think it's about maybe five dollars nothing more than ten dollars I know that for sure so we are going to start off by taking this shadow right here and this is just like a darker kind of brown shade this is perfect as a transition shade so we're just gonna take that and put it all over our crease they do have a lot of fallout so you just have to be careful with that but you're just gonna put it all over the crease it is a little bit dark as you guys can see but we're just gonna blend that out and it's gonna look very nice so you're just gonna keep blending windshield wiper motion We are going to go in with something just a tiny bit darker and I'm gonna take a very kind of tapered brush like so and this is perfect for just the outer part of your eye so this is just gonna go in the socket of my crease and I am going to be using this darker shade right here it's a little bit darker than the one I just used just to kind of make it a little bit more deep if you know what I'm saying I don't want it to be super super dark just a little bit deeper and we're just gonna go ahead and go in the outer of our V and just in that socket you guys see that this brush I should zoom you guys in but this brush fits perfectly into my socket so I just want to go ahead again in and out in and out that's kind of weird windshield white promotions and back and forth duo palette thingy this is from the color institute it is called highlighter cream but they're eyeshadows and there is a silver one and a dark black one i'm gonna overdraw my lid just a tiny bit that way it would look a lot more decent so i'm gonna apply i'm just gonna take the silver one not the black one just the silver one and i'm gonna apply it all over my lid and like i said i am going to overdraw that lid part one just a nice kind of pearl glittery shadow and I'm just gonna take that as well and I'm gonna put it over top of what I just did okay and 
and then I'm gonna go back in with that same brown shadow that I put on my outer and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out I'm just gonna go in with my favorite eyeliner this is my NYC liquid liner and I'm just gonna line just the top I'm not gonna do no wing whatsoever this is just to kind of make the lashes that I'm about to put look a little bit more natural so we're just gonna go ahead and just line it okay so now that I do have my lashes on and everything like that we're gonna go ahead and start off with my most favorite part and that is bronzing my face because I am looking like a little ghost right now and that is not what we are going for. I did discover this bronzer not too long ago and I have been obsessed with it guys. I have just been obsessed. This is the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster and this is in the shade medium to dark. I think this is the darkest shade that they have but it is absolutely amazing. I just love bronzing my face with this. I have not put it down ever since I got it. So we're gonna go ahead and bronze and to bronze I'm just gonna use a real Techniques brush like so. And I'm gonna dip it in here and I'm gonna start bronzing. <laughs> of natural bronze if you guys see that that is just so beautiful and I love it because it does have shimmer though but the shimmer is not so in your face it's just perfect because it gives you like a slight highlight and I love that I love that about, about this bronzer it's just the best my forehead as well I have to and then this side I'm ruining my baby hairs but it's okay to just contour my face to actually give me a little bit of cheekbone definition I'm gonna go in with the same wet and wild contour palette and I'm gonna use that shade right here and I'm just gonna just grab a tiny bit and just kind of chisel them cheekbones and it's gonna blend so nicely with that bronzer that I just put on my face it's gonna blend in it's not just gonna be a harsh line it's just gonna look very nice and blend it out and for the lower lash line I'm just gonna use the exact same colors that I used on my eyes and that is what I'm gonna use for my lower lash line and I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with that um, with that shade down here and then that brown shade right up here. Okay, and after I have that done, I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara. This is the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. And I'm gonna use this for my lower lash line and also for my top lashes as well. I'm gonna go in with my favorite little blush palette by e.l.f. and I'm just gonna be using uh, this color right here is just like a very nice light pinkish shade. And I'm just going to use an e.l.f. brush. You guys know I'm all about that nice drugstore life. So yeah. I'm just going to blend that to my cheekbones. For my inner corner, I am going to use that same shade up here. That little glittery shade. I'm going to use that pearl highlight for my inner corner. It's beautiful. This is the NYX Professional Dual Chromatic Illuminating kind of highlighter and it looks like this. I have been showcasing this in most of my videos and it's just gorgeous. No, and it's just beautiful. I'm 
just gonna grab some of that and put it on my cheekbones. I'm not gonna do a lot simply because I already have glittery lids and I just don't wanna overpower it too much. So I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit on there and it's just gorgeous. Look at that, gorgeous. I don't wanna look too shiny. I'm on the bridge of our nose. And for the lips, I have been using this perfect lip combo, guys. I have been loving it so much, I showcase it like everywhere. And this is the e.l.f. Uh, lipstick in Blushing Brown. So I put this first, then I go over top with this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits in the shade Nudist Peach. So I put this one, then this one, and it just makes the perfect shade ever. This is the finished look guys and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want more kind of makeup tutorials or get ready with me, go ahead and like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.